Hi, this is Steve Knight and welcome to Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update. Starting with the Euro dollar today and the pair fell on the so softer than expected German and EU manufacturing PMIs which came in at 51.1 and 52.2 respectively. However, the French PMI beat the forecast at 49.4, limiting the downside somewhat. The spectre of a disorderly Greek exit still looms large with the current round of talks going nowhere. Capital flows out of Greek banks continue unabated, putting the upper limit of the ELA under further pressure. There has also been suggestions that the Greek administration is in trouble within its own ranks, which could lead to the government collapsing and the, the impacting the euro significantly. Turning to the Aussie dollar and the pair weakened thanks to the softer than expected building approvals coming in at negative 4.4% against the negative 1.8% expected. Weak data from China also impacted the commodity dependent pair as uh, HSBC manufacturing PMI came in flat at 49.2. The embattled pair also faces an RBA interest rate policy decision shortly which is likely to leave rates unchanged but with the risk of a further cut this year. Looking at the cable now, and the pair continued to fall sharply as the markets find the US dollar the more attractive proposition. UK manufacturing PMI missed its forecast at 52.5, coming in at 52.0, and saw the pair touching lows of 1.5169 before pulling back slightly. Watch out for the UK construction PMI due shortly to set the tone of the trading day. Finally, taking a look at our analyst pick of the day and crude oil looks ready to move further south after having retraced to the top of the bearish channel. A double top pattern dominates the pair and it appears to be consolidating before looking at a move lower. RSI has retreated from the overbought area and now looks to be trending slightly lower whilst in neutral territory. Price will need to breach the 38.2% retracement level at 59.74 to confirm a move lower. For more information, please subscribe to our daily newsletters at blackwelltrader.com. That's all I've got for you today. This is Steve Knight with Blackwell Global.